Hello and welcome to an episode, the first episode of Off the Signal Chain. I'm Chris of Serious Matters and this is Tom. How you doing? My How you doing? with the mommy. <laughs> um, and today we're going to show you a little bit of a, 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 little bit of a, a little bit of a great battle. Yeah, it's a, oh, little, a little hot bit. topic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Would you, would, you, would you like to take a look? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so what we got here right now is um, from Malaise Forever Customs. Uh, Zach, he's a builder out of Ohio. Uh, this is the Black Lives Matter pedal. Oh, there goes my guitar. Pedal. All proceeds for these pedals go directly towards great causes for Black Lives Matter, whether it's, a, I think it's movement for black people, mm -hmm. um, a clue, uh, different bail funds. Yes, different bail funds, one being in LA in particular, Ooh. if you know. Huh. If you, you know, know, you know. <laughs> um, so, um, all profits are going straight towards good causes. Um, even the people who are machining yes. the parts. So <laughs> the way that Zach was doing these at first, um, all the profits uh, minus the actual uh, part costs, he was donating straight to charity. Turns out where he was buying all the parts from, they're donating all their, all, donating all their profits to Hell charity. Yeah. So it, it's 100% just split up in a couple ways but it's a hundred percent regardless and if that's not a great thing i don't know what i is. don't know what is but <laughs> telling me this is a um a circuit based off of uh the thing with the, the you know the uh, the uh the the shallow tone omg yeah, yeah that yeah, thing that's the one that's the one um this is based off of a uh, circuit 1.2 of that mm -hmm. um if you know the original, there's... If you know, you Oof. know. Yeah, if you know, you know. Uh, there's like 17,000 different versions Variations of, that pedal. of the same uh, oh boy. song but, and dance. Uh, but each one's a little bit different. So this is 1.2. This is pretty early into um, the... Development yes. of it. Um, but uh, let me tell you, this little baby packs a punch. And it punch. literally has so much diversity... From blues overdrive to Foo Fighters hard rock style, The Pretender. Yeah, definitely. Like I, and everything in between, actually. So uh, let's just get right into it. Here's um. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's let's have our clean tone. Yes. Um. Right. Tom, what do we got? Uh, what do we got plugged into today? Yeah. So uh, this is my Fender Telly. Uh, we're running um, into an Axe Effects Two. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna eventually showcase a bunch of different uh, guitars and amps and whatnot. But... We have a bunch of analog gear and things that we'll look into. We got pedals, all types of stuff. But right now, we're just starting with the first. You know, and uh, we're gonna keep it pretty easy using the Axe Effects. There's just so many different options on that thing that. Uh, I think it's just going to be easy to have a blanket clean tone from that rather than trying to mess with uh, different amps right now. But we'll definitely be getting into that later. Mm -hmm. So as of right now. That's uh, that's what the clean tone's going to be like. Can and, you tell uh, us uh, what knobs does this bad boy have? Yeah. So we're looking at volume, tone and drive okay and this little uh switch i'll get to in a little bit perfect but, uh, let's turn it on Big fat bars. Yeah, it's just gonna keep going and going and going. Uh, we're looking at the uh, recording software right now, and oof. Uh, without me muting it right there, it was just kept going on. Um, so yeah, we're looking at um, we're looking at a couple different things where uh, it's just 
got so much versatility, and that's just everything on Noon right now. Oh, this um, is a Nooner? Yeah. <laughs> up there you have it you just play a little lighter but then you want to really just get right into it starts to open up crazy um and that gives it a lot of perceived gain i think yeah um the thing with this is that like all by itself it doesn't sound like it's the heaviest thing in the world um it definitely doesn't do like your more modern metal any core any kind of like metalcore or, like post hardcore kind yeah, of stuff yeah it's not it's not that it's definitely it's to tickle the the top end of hard rock and i think that you could definitely use this to push uh, a heavy amp to the next level. Definitely. And get it that boost because it gives it such a nice character tonally. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Um, would you like to start dialing some goodness and see what else you can do? Yeah, definitely. Um, let's, uh, let's back off the gain a little bit. Um... No, oh, that's a saves the day song if you just move that uh, pinky. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but right there, that's kind of like if you were to do, like, I could almost say that that's like a kind of a country tone. You With your single coil, especially, you can definitely get that blues, brassy, finger picking type style. right there is not the jimmy dean song but in fact a uh, a really good example of your dynamically right there because you did pull it back a little bit but it's still got that bite. there's that So uh, we were saying before how I was going to show you what uh, what this little toggle switch does. Uh, it's essentially um, it's essentially like if you had a British amp and an American amp. Um, British would be like your may. Uh, no, your, British would be your Marshall, yes. your Vox, your Orange, yes. things like that. Yes. Your American, American version, you'd be your Saldano. It'd be your Mesa. It'd and be your, your Fender. Fender. Yeah. Uh, so down in the lower toggle, you're looking at that mid range being just flat, uh, almost a little scooped. Okay. Um, okay. And not all that much. It's it, it's honestly like just a like flat. a JCM eight hundred kind of feel. That's that got a little scoop. Um. No, that would be more of a mid hump. Uh -huh. Marshall. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yep. Uh, you'd be looking at more like a Fender Twin. Just Fender anything, just in general. It's going to be pretty level. Okay. Um, then you uh, pop that toggle up, and then uh, you're looking at um, like Marshall, Mesa, uh, Marshall, Vox, Orange. Now, could you give me an example of that with the toggle switched up? Because we haven't done that yet. Yep. So just, uh, just as a quick reminder, this is with it down. <laughs> Uh, 
and we're gonna flip it up right now. It makes a difference. I can hear that boost right there. Yeah. And that's another thing too, is you're gonna get a little bit of uh, a little extra output. You're gonna get a little extra drive. Um, the two modes are pretty, they're pretty balanced. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, you can definitely hear a little bit of a difference, especially I think in the um, the lower gain area. Once you start cranking the drive knob you on, you start to thing, lose that. Yeah, you start to lose a little bit of the characteristic. But uh, in the lower uh, gain, you really can kind of hear just a little bit of a difference, and sometimes that's the biggest part. Yeah, the subtlety is what makes the biggest difference in some cases. <laughs> This is to give you that full, um, like, wall of amps type sound. And put a band in the mix. I mean, you can't go wrong. Hey, Jericho Elite 6. Uh, very small company out of Texas, about four people running this whole shindig. Really crazy. And uh, this is my clean tone. This is my neck pickup and this is my bridge pickup. Now, uh, just so the audience is aware, you're running some uh, pretty hot pickups in there. Oh, okay, yeah. These DiMarzio Titans, these are Jake Bowen. Um, these are his signature set. Man, they're super hard to find because I was trying to get another pair in my other guitar. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, uh, they don't fuck around. These are going 14, 15. Um, the output, 14 or 15, actually. 14 or 15K, yeah. Yeah. And, That's uh, hot. It's, it's supposed to be your uh, right before an active pickup. This gotcha. should, It's supposed to be like that. And it's supposed to be jazz cleans in the bridge, gent in the bridge. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Uh so Neck yeah, let's um, let's uh let's just mess around on this. Okay. <laughs> Right now, we still have a lot of clarity coming through, even with how, so what are we at, like 12? Yeah, we're like straight up 12 on the game. But I can still hear everything in this E major chord. So when I think about this, like if I want to give like a major seven, I still hear all those notes come through. For sure. And <laughs> um, and even through, like, my neck pickup, I could get some crazy lead tones out of this. Oh, for sure. It actually, like, right here, it kind of sounds fuzzy. A little bit, yeah. Like that psychedelic, um, American woman type. Buzz faces. But when I switch it to my bridge pickup, you just get this modern rock type. Um, do you want to give me like a like a rhythmy? Yeah, uh, let's flip you back down to the low peak. Um, we'll back off the gain a little bit. Mm -hmm. Probably back off the treble. Mm -hmm.
So what's that was the we're in the low peak right now, and we're pretty low on gain. Dynamics, all about those dynamics, depending on how I hit them. Can this thing do um, leads if it was, you know, boosted enough at the oh, right settings? Definitely. Um, let's uh, let's pump the volume a little bit. Pop you to the high uh, the high peak. Mm -hmm. I dig it. I. Really did. Yeah, I think this is a pedal that really just keeps up, like keeps on surprising me to the point where, um, I could just find a use for it wherever. I th I think one of its huge features is the fact that it's so versatile. Definitely, it literally has so many different hats it can wear you can really have it almost anywhere in your signature right for sure um i typically run this as one of the first drive pedals in my uh my stack of dirt mm -hmm. um but i typically do run this as like my main dirt pedal um where this is like my go-to like this is gonna be my sound okay um this is my foundation if I can build everything around that, I'm happy. Yeah, I um, think that color sounds fantastic. For sure. Uh, so, again, this is a replica of the thing with of the... Of something else. Yeah, you know. You, you know what it is. But uh, that was my first guitar pedal way back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought that, and then EHX Free is my first two pedals. So... I've been very familiar with the circuit for a very long for time. For a long time. I used to record with the original for a very long time. Uh, so I'm very familiar with its ins and outs and what that does. I think, in my opinion, this does it better. Mm -hmm. The original, as good as it was, it had a little bit more gain on tap, uh, where it could do like mo like modern metal. Um, I think this just really cuts above as... This shines brighter as a pedal in comparison, I believe. Just because there's something about it, whether it be the fact that it doesn't have all that gain on tap and it's got a more focused... Instead of being a one-size-fits-all, it's a one-size-fits-most... Right. And damn, does it fit most. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just think for what it does, I think it does it better. Um, it sounds more open. It sounds more organic. Yeah. It sounds a lot more natural. Um, I found the original circuit to be a little bit more compressed. Um, I couldn't exactly... Um, as much as it could be like a jack-of-all-trades kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I wasn't always a hundred percent happy with it. It falls short in some places, right? But like, and then in that aspect, I was happy because of that. It's a weird like give and take kind of thing. Okay, but uh, I feel like this pedal just takes it a step further, and it kind of just expands what was good, and just makes it a little bit better where it really matters the most. I think it cuts the fat where the fat needed to be cut just because it didn't need all that. I'm right. not going to lie. That you didn't need that pedal to do modern metal because there were other pedals that took care of that. This right, right here <laughs> just because even whether it's an overdrive or a boost 
uh, I think the tonality and the color that it provides to the signal is just off the signal chain. Ooh, there I did it. Zing, we got it. <laughs> um, so quick shout out to the builder real quick. Um, Zach of Molays Forever yes. out of Ohio. Yes, um, we're gonna make sure you, we have all the social media shop links all in the description below. Um, you said, now he's got a third run of these, but unfortunately they're sold out because they're super freaking popular. Yeah. Now, his other pedal, another beautiful, beautiful pedal that he has, the Golden Guillotine. Now yes. that's available. Yes, uh, I believe there's two or three more of those left in this batch. He does everything by batches, uh, and they're pretty frequent. Um, so he's got... Um, two major pedals in production right now and he's got one more coming out pretty soon too. I actually have the prototype of that and uh, Zach, if you're watching, oh, it's good. It'll fuzz your face <laughs> off. <laughs> but uh, he's working on batch number three of these right now. Um, not all that sure when they're coming out, uh, but definitely keep an eye out on his social media. Absolutely. He posts pretty frequent updates on that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, again, we'll make sure all... Uh, all links are in the description that are necessary. Um, Honestly, I know what is a great thing, and it's this friggin' pedal. The Black Lives Matter pedal by Malays Forever is killer and almost, uh, it'll fit anywhere in your signal chain. Definitely. You can really, there's so much that you can do with it that it's, it's crazy. And in a world with a thousand, hundred thousand dirt pedals, this will definitely stand out, and this definitely has stood out, especially to me, as a mainstay. Um, and for on your ever-changing pedal board, we don't talk about that. <laughs> but for a hundred bucks, um, it, it's a great deal That's because it really can just do a lot. Literal bang for your buck, right there. This would be the studio overdrive for pretty much about anything. Um, I, I tell you what. Actually, in fact, during the recording of some Serious Matters thing, we used something similar. Uh, and uh, I think this kills it way better than even when we did it for recording. Oh, I bet. So, you know, take that, if you will. <laughs> All right, guys. So this has been the first episode of Off the Signal Chain. I've been Tom. I've been Chris. You can follow us on all our social medias and subscribe because we're going to go on many beautiful gear adventures along the way, and we'd love to have you join us. So thank you again. I hope to see you soon. Have a good one.